Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Native Voice TV. I'm Sundas Martinez. I was wondering who you were. <laughs> I was going to leave a little pause there. <laughs> and I'm Siwa Pili Rose Amador, and together we are Native Voice TV. We are the indigenous people. Yes, we are. Yeah. Well, what's coming up? I think you, well, you have know, a we little forgot paper to, there in yeah, front of you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we forgot to put this in our last announcements. It's the 11th Annual Storytelling Indigenous Gathering. This is going to be at uh, Saturday, June 23rd, and this is going to be at Indian Canyon. That's in Hollister. Yeah, that's in Hollister. I believe we have a contact number, too. It's 831-637-4238. Well, we hope that's the contact number. Yeah. Uh, if they say they're... Joe's Pizza Potter, then, you know, it's the wrong <laughs> number, but no, that should be the contact number. Yeah. And it's really nice to go to the storytelling up there. They have a lot of elders that come up. Oh, yeah. And that, that's where we met um, Dr. Daryl Babe Wilson. So yeah. um, you always meet great people out there. Yeah, and but I, in here, too. Yeah, I want to yeah. give a plug for the California story. Did I hold that up right? <laughs> and this was produced, <laughs> written by, and... Uh, Floyd Red Crow Westerman. It is a fantastic, fantastic story. It's actually not a story. It's history. It's true facts. It should be in every school. Um, should be in every native house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, because the kids grow up. Did you get that? Hearing. Um, all the, just, the wrong version of history. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of our history. The lies of the history, yeah. I remember my daughter was, she got a thing from, the, from her school and said that they were fighting for land and power. The Indians. Yeah, right. the Indians. And like, they scalped everybody, right? <laughs> and you know, the name of this is Exterminate Them. Yeah. America's destruction of, Indi of the Indian nations. And it's really, really a powerful, powerful. <laughs> Um, Powerful message that he has in here. Yeah, but it's it's, it's the truth. It's, it's the truth. It's a true history. It's our history, and um, you should really um, contact the, the website and purchase this. Yeah, he talks about. He quotes a lot of the American U.S. presidents, and as they may be heroes to a lot of people, I mean they are quoted as saying, you know, let's kill them, let's destroy them, let's annihilate them. So yeah. should should really get a copy of this uh, DVD. Highly recommend it. Yeah. So I'd like to welcome our guest today. We have Rain Crow with us. Welcome, Rain Crow. Thank you very much. And which tribe are you? <clears throat> I'm enrolled with the Menominee Nation. Menominee. Northeast we, Wisconsin. Yeah, I've never, we'd never heard of, well, I never heard of Menominee. We're an Algonquin descent from Canada, which yeah. we migrated down from, Cana from the Algonquin. Oh, now, I see. what's We're different from the them. Menominee tribe from other tribes? I mean, every tribe has their little distinctive characteristics. We're right? a woodland tribe. Woodland we um, pretty much occupied all of Wisconsin mm -hmm. and the Michigan area. We're, I'm going to say, like 10, what is our history? Go back. Mm. Quite a few years back where our history is like we occupied that area that was our territory. Mm -hmm. Now when you say you were in Canada as well, are your is your tribe still in Canada and Wisconsin or has it pretty much migrated to solely those that uh, northwestern states? And we're, we migrated out of Canada okay. but we're an Algonquin descent that came from Canada. I oh. see. Okay. Yeah. So, so, but then, but back then it was just all one line. Yeah, so the, exactly. Yeah, until these guys yeah. put all these lines here and said, that's Canada. Yeah. So now we have to talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now do, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> this is border. Um, so, you have your language? I don't speak but fluently. But you do have, you have your own language. Yeah, though. we do. Um, it has a lot of dialect in it. I, mm -hmm. I'm not quite familiar with my language. I was mm -hmm. raised urban, but... Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with family on the reservation and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. not fluent with our language. Now, but they do practice. And yeah, that's great. Now, as an urban Indian, um, you know, for, for most of us who live out here too, it, did you have a hard time finding your identity and feeling, 
you know, just, just filling with your own people because, you know, a lot of times there's so many different diverse cultures and it's almost like we're lost out there. Like there's no one else, or, you know, that we can identify with. Um, in a sense, I did. Mm -hmm. It was kind of hard transitioning back and forth because we did spend summers on the reservation or mm -hmm. we'd go up for Christmas. We got picked on a lot because we were urban. Mm -hmm. And then when we'd go back, it was just sides. like, oh, yeah, it was just yeah. here and there, back and forth. But um, I've never really had a issue with my identity. I uh -huh. just blended in quite a bit with, with the, you know, urban setting. Yeah. There's a lot of different cultures and <coughs> nationalities within the city. So mm -hmm. You yeah. said you were <coughs> raised, or you went to school in Chicago, or you were raised in Chicago? I was born and raised in Chicago. Oh, born and raised. Yeah. And what is the experience there in Chicago? Are there a lot of Native people? There are a lot of the Menominee tribe do, um, do, did live in the 70s, 60s and the 70s. Even in the 50s, the, um, they have a big population of Menominees that lived in the city back then. Mm -hmm. Right now, they've all kind of moved out of the city. And where have they moved to? Just across A lot the have country. like just moved back to the reservation oh. or away from Chicago. Uh -huh. My sister actually just moved out of Chicago two years ago, and she was the last immediate family. Are there any there. like special annual ceremonies that the Menominee tribe does? We have an annual powwow. It's, uh -huh. um, I believe it's like it's third, we're in our 30th, 30 something wow. annual, 30th year already, mm -hmm. somewhere along those lines. And they have a very, very beautiful, um, what is it, dancing dance grounds. Mm -hmm. It's called the Woodland Bowl. And it's like an arena shaped dance area. And it goes into, it's all wooded and it's arena bleachers, but it's mm -hmm. in the woods and it's implanted oh, like into nice. this. Wow. What kind of uh, regalia do you typically wear when they dance? Um, Shawl, Shawl. yeah, the women. shawls, yeah. and they do a lot of fancy dance, mm -hmm. a lot of woodland design, beadwork, quill beadwork. Mm. We work with a lot of quill. Mm. Are the powwows similar to the ones out in California, or you know, in the well, the Western states? Yeah, pretty much. They pretty have similar. The contesting and mm -hmm. oh, wow. very very big. Um, it's probably mm. one of the bigger powwows in. The Northeast Wisconsin region in those wow. areas. Let me ask you this: Does your tribe have a casino? Yes. I thought so. Cause <laughs> when I was in Wisconsin for a conference, there were quite a few different casinos. Mm -hmm. I didn't know which tribes they were, but uh. there we have a casino on reservation. Our tribe is in the process of having a another casino being passed. It has been passed by the state to open outside of the, the city of Milwaukee. Has it helped your tribe? Um, in development, yes, our gaming proceeds are um, put into developing our tribal land, and we have a community college, a two-year accredited really? community college that non-Native Americans do come in from all over the state, and even outside of the state, Native Americans come to our community college. It's, um, it's been in business, I believe, maybe seven to ten years and it's an accredited college and transferable credits into the university so that's really good um going back to the casino they do put in a lot of um the money into development um we are a sub self con self sufficient sufficient <laughs> tribe yeah we have our own police department our own tribal clinic mm -hmm. our high school three elementary schools we mm -hmm. have our own county police force because we also have non-native that live on our land oh. um we have we we have quite a few um departments now did you declare education. the non-natives uh illegal aliens <laughs> and give them a green card <laughs> I, actually back She's back joking. in the day we did sell land to non-natives yeah. but we coincide quite yeah quite good together on our well reservation. that's good yeah it's, it's good to see that as Native people, we can do that, you know, to other people who come on our land. You know, yeah. we've always, you know, been nice and welcome, you know, the people. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be nice if uh, other people here could, you know, do yeah. the same to other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, 
<coughs> an issue I see a lot of, yeah. so back and forth. Now you mentioned that your sister, you have a sister, and mm -hmm. she has a, she makes native apparel, is that She correct? does, she, she travels throughout um, the states to two different powwows with her, she puts up a vending booth at different powwows. Not only does she sell at powwows her clothing, she also um, has a website that she sells clothing with, and she's had her business on operation, her and her husband, for, I'm going to say, <laughs> five years, but they've been working on, you know, other things beside their um, clothing line, but they're mm -hmm. just starting to take off with what that. What is it called? True Native. True Native. So she designs uh, clothing, pants. Yeah, they do oh. all sorts of native hats, style. native t-shirts, um, accessories, a oh, lot cool. of... Um, wow. What's that website? www.truenative, T-R-U-N-A-T-I-V-E dot net. Right, I think we have it under your name, so oh, okay. I think that people can cool. go to it and check out the clothing awesome. line. Yeah. yeah, she's just trying to get that going, uh -huh. so it's... And she just very well with it. She travels the powwow circuits then? She does. She does, and she also travels to different reservations, promotes herself. Her and her husband do all their own promoting mm -hmm. and like gift shops and stuff on reserve or in casinos, mm -hmm. the native casinos, mm -hmm. buy product and they sell out of oh, their um, gift shops. Now, how long has your tribe had the casinos? Our, tri our tribal casino, I believe, started in maybe 19... 87. Oh, and so you yeah. had them for a while. Yeah, we don't see any <coughs> of the proceeds from, from yeah. gaming, mm -hmm. but we do have natural resource per capita, mm -hmm. which um, our tribe is internationally known for our forestry preservation, and um, we have an excellent pres forestry. Oh, good. Um, what is the term I'm looking for? program, I guess mm -hmm. you could yeah. say, where they're inter they've won international awards for it. Wow. Oh, so. That's so how were your conditions before the casinos? Were they uh, pretty much... We only have one casino, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> the conditions weren't any very, very much different than what they are now. Mm -hmm. they, did, they did do a lot of business with the federal government oh. mm -hmm. in the correct way where they utilize grant monies and Oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. use those in the proper manner. So they did well. Mm -hmm. The casino does help, but... Casino nice. kind of makes it your own, though, like, because it's, like, it's your yeah. own money, it's your own casino. And, it, it, it's yeah. a big, um, what, what's the word, employer mm -hmm. for a lot of the tribal members on, the, on reservation. Yeah. That's great. Now, what is the educational attainment level of your tribe? Um... I'm not really sure on that. I know that I'm where I'm at in my family, but mm -hmm. a lot of my my family members are degreed with two years or you know mm -hmm. bachelors. Mm -hmm. But I'm not overall the tribe. We do have a high education level, That's but great. I'm not what I'm not sure quite what the percentage mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. be on it. Well, it seems like with the school system that you spoke of, that you would have a higher, you know, achievement. Yeah, there are level. a lot of people degreed. And that's really so good. Really I'm just good. not sure what the percentage is. We have yeah. a very good mm -hmm. educational system, I guess you could say. I don't know how it compares with the state, but well, it compares okay. With California, <laughs> probably yeah. ranks up there high, <laughs> especially that's with good. all the cuts and everything, yeah. That's for sure. Uh, now, the language, um, your, do your grandparents still speak the language, or is the, is the language still being preserved by the elders and passed on, or is it... Uh, it is. It's, it's taught in the high schools. Oh, and it it's is. Taught, yes, and it's oh, taught good. in the grade schools. Um, my, like I said, I'm, I was raised urban. Mm -hmm. um, my family didn't really follow with the traditional language and mm -hmm. but my grandmother did you know take classes and courses and did try to retain it mm -hmm. but um we were never that was never taught down not taught mm -hmm. to us in my family immediate family mm -hmm. but i do have you know family members that have took in classes in college and stuff like that now right. to retain our language but yeah what's so good about but that? me i i'm sorry yeah. to say i <laughs> haven't got that chance Quite yet to you can always get on board. You can always, you can always <laughs> go back. You know what's so good about your your system there is you could always yeah. go back mm -hmm. and learn your language. A lot of uh, different tribes they 
they've lost their language completely and they, you know, they have no way of coming back to it. Yeah. I do I do know how to say things but Hey, where's the bathroom? Yeah, but I don't <laughs> you know, I don't use it daily and yeah. I do understand so Oh, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. That's good. So you know if they're talking about you, hey, is that urban, <laughs> is that urban Indian <laughs> yeah. from Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> they're not that mean to me. But, <laughs> but well, what brings you out to California? Well, I don't live in California. I work for a native tribe. Oh, okay, so you're in Nevada? Yes, oh, I'm based okay, in Nevada, okay. but the tribe has different mm. sites throughout California mm -hmm. Nevada, mm -hmm. so I travel to the different sites. and do a lot of different things. For so it's obviously a tribe that's not your own tribe. It's but, not. But it's still, it's good work for <laughs> other Native, Native people. people. And yeah. that's one of my, my um, things is to work for Native American tribes yeah. with my education. And when I do further, I will always work for Native American tribes, whether it's my own or it's great. another tribe. Where did you go to school? I went to school in Canada. Did you? Yes, British Columbia, Selkirk mm -hmm. College. Graduated what did you there. Major in? Resort hotel business management. So it's a cross between hospitality and management, uh -huh. business management. Mm -hmm. And that is because of my gaming, our tribe's gaming mm -hmm. and the new the new projects that are coming about. So that when I'm fully degreed in four years I'll fully have that bachelor's I will all the time too. I will go back to my tribe and okay. hopefully get a good job. Yeah. He's going to be in charge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. That's good. That's yeah. excellent. So, yeah. And, and so you're the only one of your family that's out west and the rest is still back east? Actually, or? I'm not the only one. I have a first cousin that um, lives back in Nevada. My aunt moved here as well with her other with two of her daughters, so oh, okay. they're out here with me. Little so. by little, huh? They yeah, so I'm not all alone. <laughs> Now, with most Native people, we're very artistic. It's either drawing, singing, or music, or anything. Do you do any of that? I bead. You bead. Oh, do yeah, you? Yeah, I, I bead. I do um, peyote stitch. I can loom bead. Um, mm -hmm. I, can, I can make moccasins and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah so I've been... Okay. Starting to beat again. Besides your shoes. Besides <laughs> yeah, your shoes. because I have none of, those, none of those traits you just mentioned. Oh. <laughs> Karaoke, that's about it. Karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not very good. <laughs> no. A start. That's it's right, a start. it's a start. It's and a the start. dog sings with her. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> he does. Or he's maybe crying for help. Maybe either one. No. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I do beat. Oh, that's oh, good. good. Yeah. I, Enjoy it. You make moccasins, right? Cool. I haven't in a while, but uh -huh. I, I I know how. Yeah, I'm 11, size 11. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, have to, you, have to stay, you have to stay in practice so you don't forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> size 11, okay. Size 11. Write that down. That'll take forever. That's <laughs> I'll see him like six months later. His fingers will be all bloody. He's going to say, yeah, yeah, I know why I stopped doing this. <laughs> So what, what's the, uh, for, the main form of music from your tribe? Drum. Drum. Yeah. The big drum? Drum, yeah. Center drum. And then... Oh, you see, so you have multiple drummers and same yep. thing, right? Yeah. Okay, do you guys do Female that? Female singers like? with oh, the high, higher voices and Oh, that. cool. So you incorporate both of them? Yeah. Oh, that's different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, some no, try. Most, most, most women stand in back and sing anyhow. Oh, okay. Uh, they don't drum. drum. No, they don't no, drum. They sing, they stand oh. They're not allowed to. Mm -hmm. So, how about not a little our hand, tribe. How about hand drum? We don't you use don't. hand drum. Uh, They're, um, yeah, we don't. We, that's not yeah. our tradition on that, and we use the big drum. Mm -hmm. So, when are you going to be done with school? I've graduated oh. with the two years, so I'm going, I'm actually going back to school in January to. Uh -huh. Fort Lewis, Colorado, Durango <laughs> is, mm -hmm. the, is the town, and it's a, it's a college, a four-year degree co accredited college that, um, that pays full tuition for enrolled Native Americans. Oh, wow. Wow, that's great. I'll take so, advantage of that. Yeah, oh, I'm, definitely. I'm going back. So. If anything, yeah, take advantage of that. Yeah. Your tribe sure. has different clans? We do. We have five clans. We have the Bear Clan, Eagle Clan, Crane Clan, Wolf Clan, and the Moose Clan. Which clan are you? Bear. Bear Clan. Yeah, which doesn't... 
tribes, some people eat bear meat, you know, on mm -hmm. our res, but um, my band is, a, my clan isn't allowed to eat bear mm -hmm. meat because of uh, our clan, so. Uh -huh. Now, can you explain to our non-native audience out there, what exactly are the clans, like if they're incorporations of different families together that combine, or I'll let you do <laughs> um, I'm not really, I have it wrote here what, mm -hmm. what they stand for, but the different clans, for instance, a bear clan in English terms are um, speakers and keepers of the law, mm -hmm. is what our clan was in, back in the day. Um, the wolf clan, their freedom and justice. Mm -hmm. The crane was a hunting and gathering clan. Mm -hmm. And moose were like a community or individual security. Gee, that so sounds familiar, huh? Crane is architectural construction and art, so they does, did a lot of that. Uh, does that sound building. familiar? Yeah. Gee, I wonder where they ripped that off from. But, yeah, that's what our tribe yeah it's cool all right well i'm glad you made it out to visit us okay. you know, i know you're not me. in san jose very often not but um you came to the big city from nevada <laughs> yes gardnerville, gardnerville okay. outside of tahoe oh i want to ask you a question like wisconsin and all, all those little cities are there any named after your tribe you know the whole words? state pretty whole, much is um, named after different um, chiefs of our tribe. Oh, okay. See, all, pretty much all the cities in uh -huh. Wisconsin are Native American and they're Menominee. Like Milwaukee is Menominee. Uh -huh. Oh, cool. Green Bay isn't obviously Mil Menominee, yeah. but um, there are a lot of the cities are wow. named after our tribe. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know that. Cool. I knew yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, so you learned something new. Hey, there we go. Well, let's learn what it, powwows and announcements are coming up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's see what's coming up. There we go. Table Mountain Rancheria, June 8th through the 10th. It's at uh, Fiant, California. Fiant. It's Fiant? near um, Fresno. Fresno, okay. Seventh Annual Powwow. Honoring the Warrior Spirit, 12th Annual Vallejo Powwow. That's uh, Saturday, July 28th through the 29th. And West Valley Pow Wow, Saturday, September 29th, noon to midnight. All drums and dancers welcome. That's West Valley College, where? On Saratoga Avenue? Right. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah. <laughs> Aha, the Native TANF program. That's at 490 North 1st Street, San Jose, <laughs> California. <laughs> they have a lot of good services there. Work to Future is a partner affiliate. At, located at the Center for Training at, in, and Careers at 1600 Las Plumas Avenue in San Jose. Come by. You can apply for a job and uh, <laughs> if you want to improve your career. Tune in, Indian Time Radio, KKUP 91.5 <laughs> FM, every Tuesday, 8 to 10. And that's David Romero. Ooh, look at David. <laughs> yeah. And remember Leonard Peltier, 31 years of false imprisonment. Send your prayers out to Yes, and remember, when you go to the powwows, they normally have a booth out there. So go, you know, donate some money, buy a T-shirt, pick up some literature, sign a petition. Yeah. But, you know, do what you can to help Leonard. And, and even if you don't know anything about it, you know, just go over there and read the literature and, and find out, mm -hmm. you know. And rather than procrastinate, go and find out. That's right. Yeah. So, so. what do you... Go <laughs> <laughs> Always well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate that. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. I know we had wanted you to come on and for a while now, and uh, it's it's difficult for you to come out to this area, yeah. so you kind of have to align it with your work I and travel. so forth. And yeah, you must do a lot of traveling. Huh? I do. travel every week. Do you have a plane or something? Yeah. I drive. <laughs> <laughs> I can I fly, but it's not my plane. <laughs> oh well. It's parachuting in. <laughs> it, mostly around uh, California, then. North Cal, yeah, uh, Sacramento, San Jose, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. mm, I can't think of where else I go. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Oh, you have all the fun San places Mateo. to go. Yeah, um, Oakland. Uh, no. <laughs> Santa Cruz is good to go for the summer. I go. haven't gotten a chance to no. visit that site. My coworker has gone there, though, so yeah. says it's oh, pretty he nice. He probably picked that one and says, oh, you go to San Jose, I'll go to Santa Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to the beach. <laughs> send you to Oakland. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's okay. There's a lot of Native people in Oakland. Have oh, you yeah. gone to? You've probably gone mm -hmm. to the different uh, functions. Some of the functions done. I have yeah. attended. Um, very nice. We did yeah. cool. a lot of work with the program. So. Oh, that's good. Oh, we should tell everybody, including Winkle, to go on YouTube. Okay. Because we have a lot of uh, of our little clips on there, and it's YouTube. Dot com. Dot com. And yeah. then you type in Native Voice TV with no spaces or anything. And then you oh, can get okay. clips of the show. Awesome. And our past they'll shows see and our Rinko future shows. On there and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And some singers and dancers and just, you know, different Drummers. highlights oh, of yeah. the show and uh, different little interviews. We have uh, Floyd Westerman on there. One of these days we'll get a, like a blooper show and put it on there. Well, that'll be easy. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be easy. It'll be all of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you, if you can, you know, come out for the storytelling in Indian Canyon oh, yeah, because that'll be a real good one. And a pick up the California story, exterminate them. <laughs> They're talking about us. <laughs> Those them is us. Yeah. So yeah, pick up a copy of that. It's it's uh, a great uh, DVD, very educational. The uh, the website is on the screen right there. Take a look at it. it uh, look at it. <laughs> There's <laughs> one for our bloopers right there. <laughs> Put that on the blooper tape. <laughs> but thanks for joining us. Yes. And we'll see you next week again at 6 o'clock. Yeah. Channel 15, Native Voice TV. Thanks for joining us. Good night. <laughs>